Let's return now to one of our top stories. The Reserve Bank is expected to deliver families a reprieve from rate rises when it meets for the final time this year today. Joining me is Chief Investment Officer at The Motley Fool, Scott Phillips. Scott, good to see you. What's your feel? What's your prediction? Dedeka, good morning. I've been doing this long enough, mate, not to make predictions because it just made <laughs> to make people like me look silly. Uh, and look, what I will say, you've done a great job, as did Julia in her cross from, from Martin Place. Uh, in outlining the, the circumstances, I think most economists, most market watchers are expecting the RBA to give us another month off, a bit of a Christmas present, if you like. The real challenge is that we don't know how they feel about the fact they're not meeting in January. This is a two-month decision. In fact, if they do nothing now, it'll mean between early November and potentially early February, there were no rate rises. Now, enough has been done. Inflation is falling. The, the employment market is weakening. Retail sales, particularly discretionary retail sales, are absolutely through the floor. Harvey Norman sales down 12% this financial year alone. Uh, so there's plenty of reasons for them to give us a bit of time off. The flip side of that, of course, is firstly, at 4.9%, inflation is hardly under control. It's hardly where we want it to be or need it to be. The other thing, as I said, because of that two-month break, we were at 4.9% last in July. And then August and September, it ticked up and then up again. And so we don't want to put ourselves in that same situation. I think it's likely they will say, you know what, enough has been done, we can't afford to wait. But don't rule out Michelle Bullock and the board saying, you know what, that two-month period, just a little bit too long, inflation a little bit too high, uncomfortably high, we might need to do something about it. So uh, hopefully for everybody watching, everyone with a mortgage, small business owners with business loans as well, hopefully rates will stay on hold for them. Of course, if inflation is not under control, it is still the lesser of two evils to have another rate rise, believe it or not. That sounds weird to say, uh, but that's the circumstance in which we find ourselves. I do wonder, though, you mentioned retail sales. Of course, uh, spending is on the up, of course, as we're heading into this Christmas period. So you've got to wonder what will that do to inflation? And then when the board meet again, you wonder what they might do next year. Yeah, it's fascinating, isn't it? Look, that's the other thing, by the way, you need to see December retail sales. We are so close to November, the month of November actually being bigger than the month of December retail sales-wise, which is just incredible. And it is that Black Friday sale period that was Black Friday, then it was Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Uh, I think I saw some emails for about a week and a half before and a week <laughs> after. Uh, companies still trying to make that sale. It's a reminder of how tough things are out there. Even those retailers that are seeing sales declines that aren't quite as bad as Harvey Norman's, for example, almost all of them are seeing margin pressures. They're having to drop their prices to make those sales. But your point is absolutely valid. If November is high and December is high, the RBA may look at us and say, guys, we, we asked you to kind of cool your jets. You didn't do it. We're going to have to do it for you with another rate rise. So I, I would not rule out today, uh, today's absolutely a live meeting. They will absolutely be discussing those options of doing nothing or raising rates, possibly because of that two-month break, or as you rightly say, looking at November, even though the data isn't in yet and saying, guys, this got out of control. We still have too much spending in the economy, still too much pressure. On, on the demand side. Uh, the best news, as Julia Bradley said in that cross again from the RBA, is that petrol prices have been pretty soft this last month or so, and that is going to take a meaningful bite out of the inflationary pressures. So, fingers crossed, I think we probably will see the RBA sit on its hands, but I would not be at all surprised. I certainly wouldn't rule out the chances of a 0.25% increase as we go into Christmas. OK, well, look, remains to be seen. We'll find out this afternoon.